Hi everyone and welcome to this week's plans with us at RGJ Trains at David Junction. So this week, it seems to be that every week in the plans we're like, well I'm going to do this and Rob is going to do that. But it seems the last few weeks what's happened is only one of us have managed to actually get something done. Whether it's just fitting it in or what we've got filmed, it just seems to be how it's gone at the moment. And I think I said that on the last episode actually, that it just seems to be the way. But it's trying to let you guys know of plans that we need to do. So like we said for last week, Rob needs to work on the track. We've had a few comments again, so thank you guys. We are trying to get figured out what the issue is with the power. Um, but I just really can't figure it out at the moment. I know Rob's been speaking with a couple of people um, to try and get that issue figured out, as well as removing the Code 75 track and replacing it with the 100, as well as trying to lift up this point down here, um, the other end of <clears throat> like the railway line here. So he's got to do that as well. Hopefully that will be what he gets done this week. And then for me, so I have done prep bits to continue on with the hill now. There has been a change already that's already made a bit of a difference, but I will show that when I go on to it. So hopefully I'm going to crack on a bit more with this hill this week, just because of the bits that I now have prepped. Um, that was hopefully shown. I still haven't made the tufts, but I can at least get on with the flowers and the other bits, especially around the area that we're going to use for the WWS competition. Because I believe as it stands, is there a week or two left of it? End of the month, I think it is, isn't it? Oh, I thought it was in, it's something of October. Oh, is it? I the very beginning of October. Um, maybe once we get this into the editing stage, I will get ask Rob to put a note across the bottom just for those that are interested in actually entering as well. Just, you know, I just can't think of a date at the moment. But obviously the date is getting nearer. We've already had the month extension and we've not had much different, as well as painting my little spaniel. Now, something as well I'd like to know if you guys want to see is those on the lives have been watching me create the tankers that will once at one point be going down in the TMD area. So I have a little bit of 3D printed plastic that failed, basically. But I'm going to use that as a test to work with the um, rust paints that I got. I think they're the Leho. But I got them a while ago and I started using them, but I really want to experiment with it a bit. So do you guys want to see that process? Obviously, it's not the weekend yet, so let us know if you want to see that. And even if I record it, maybe, and not put it in this week's episode. Was that the ones you got on the Bentley show? Yeah, they're, they're over there. That's what I've, And that's what I've actually done the brick wall of. Oh, okay. Um, so like I said, a lot of you, if you haven't seen it, it is on the live that I've been doing this. This is where that famous fire moment happened. Um, but I just thought, well, if I'm going to experiment with it, and also if there's anybody new to the product themselves, maybe it can give them ideas. So that's why I thought I'd ask you guys as well, because we've done things like tutorials and that. And to be honest, it's 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 gone right down. And it's not the fact that we're bothered about views in in the thing of, oh, well, we've reached this, and now we're reaching that. It's more of a hard work that goes into it. You know, if it's something that I can just time lapse and crack on with, you know, compared to doing a whole tutorial, people aren't interested. That's a lot of my time and then Rob's time taken in the editing side of it with the tutorial. That's a lot of the time taken. So hopefully you guys get what I mean when I say that. But yeah, that is planned. Me sorting out bits more for this competition entry um, and obviously painting another model U figure, which um, we're going to go into that a bit as well. So I might do the Spaniel especially on this because I need to try that out. And then we can go into a little bit about model U as well, because I do want to thank again Chris and the team at model U for sending a bit over. He's been very relaxed on when we get this out, things like that. So just get it out when you get out. Um, but obviously we do want to, um, you know, shout out for it because I said, oh, you know, I'm not going to get it out straight away because obviously I do want to show what we've been sent. So I do want to thank for the relaxed pace. It's it's very much anybody that's sent things in like WWS. These are not paid sponsorship guys, but they take us as we are. And that's what we love. We've always said if we ever got to that point, 
we're not going to change who we are. And we're not turning into a review channel either. No. Um, so that's when I say that, you know, none of these are paid. It's just a case of, you know, when someone sends send something, if you don't get it out straight away, how does it make them feel? But there's a very relaxed approach, as there is with us. And, you know, that's why we want to show these things because they're amazing products. I can't believe the clarity on the actual print and then how well they were to paint as well. Because my problem at the moment is airbrushing and priming and you don't have to do that with Model U figures. So I will, again, ask my, um, my editor-in-chief to put the Model U um, link down at the bottom, but maybe on the episode I will go into it a bit more. Um, see if we can maybe show the website. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Because you know you can attach an image. Yeah. Can you do like a screen, sh uh, not screenshot, like a screen record of us going through it a little bit and then insert it? I know. Um, it... I don't know. We'll have to see if Rob's techie skills is good enough for that. If not, we will try and sort something on it. But like I said, it's just us showing the appreciation and showing decent products, guys. Like WWS, there are other brands, but it's a brand I absolutely love. And you know, the quality is top notch. Martin and are brilliant, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. So two amazing companies. And again, both of them, because uh, Chris actually said about discounted on figures for this competition as well. That's why they're kind of both in this conversation. But again, if you want a member of it, Model Railway... Uh, Oh, with the I had it. I had it down, and then I've lost it. You failed. Model railway. Model railways and dioramas. Phoenix. Two seconds. I'm going to be totally wrong here, guys. Model railways and dioramas. So I did get it right at the end. It's like when I have my names list and I question it, and then I get it right. And so yes, that is obviously the plan with things there and hopefully one of us at least will be recording so thank you all as always for the support as well guys we absolutely love it the channel is growing day by day you know it's not like that one that went ridiculous at that point but the video that shall not be named <laughs> no that wasn't that one. Oh, okay no that 130 or that I, oh. i'm wearing a jumper so it's not even that no but, so like we said, we're, we're never going to play idiots that part of the reason, obviously, this far watching... Clickbait, yeah, got accused of. This far into the video, those kind of people won't be watching anyway, and as winter comes in, they won't be watching. We're not going to act stupid. There is a reason that some of the subscribers have come on board. We're not idiots to it. We know this. I've never denied it, have we? I we wear what I wear, me. but we know there are people that possibly only subscribe for a certain reason you know we're, we're not going to play idiots to that you know and that's why some people try and say oh well my channel's not building as quick as yours yeah but don't forget some also have accused you know someone have, some have actually turned around and said women don't belong in model railways oh yes that's a contention and i know a few other female modelers that had that same comment from that same person yes um there was a stage that there was a spate of comments from a certain person going to a lot of female modelers um but that's for that one but i just wanted people to think you know we're not idiots why the channel but it's lovely to see that we are still getting regular subscribers new subscribers people that are involving themselves in the channel and our family joining my lives and that's what it's about guys that is what we love that is why we continue to do this channel you know it's about that community so anyway i'm gas bagging on i'm getting a bit sentimental here you know this is this is trains this is not sent female sentiment time so on that note i should probably go i don't think i've forgotten anything for this week have i oh one thing i will say um i've all the engine we have since learned since we filmed that as well that what they are showing is just prototypes at this point it's not the final product apparently. it's not the final product obviously i think it's all good to get our views we said our views so obviously we cannot wait to see the final product you just would have hoped that even a digital image of a final product unless they're using this as their way to get these feedbacks of people and say well this would look this would look maybe that's what they're doing um hopefully they'll take on board people's views yeah i'm not saying rapido will watch our our video god no i, highly doubt, I doubt it, it. um but, but there, there's a lot of bigger channels talking about it as well sorry sorry 
Yeah. Carry on. I did my usual, didn't I? Yeah. But yeah, it continues all right. No, it's right. One of those days. No, I, I'm I'm done now. Oh, okay, just <laughs> say, say goodbye, Grace. So I'm obviously in one of my days where I'm going on, as always. God knows Rob does put up a lot from me. And on that, I'm going to call it. And we will see you later on in the week. Patrons and members, next week is the live, isn't it? Yes. So keep an eye for that as well on your feed. So thank you all, and we'll see you later. Bye for now.